Are you tired of all the Resident Evil leaks like I am? Yeah. Well, you're in luck. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and we're going to debunk all the leaks on the next Resident Evil game. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. Capcom has faced its fair share of cyber attacks, resulting in leaks and speculation surrounding various projects. One notable leak from Dust Golem suggests that Resident Evil 9 is on the horizon with a purported reveal anticipated soon and a slated release for January 2025. Reportedly titled Resident Evil Apocalypse, the game began its early development stages back in 2018. At the time, the development for Village took precedence. Speculation abound that Resident Evil 9 has undergone an extensive seven-year development cycle and could potentially make its debut at the upcoming PlayStation Showcase, slated to occur in a few weeks. Resident Evil games typically are greenlit in batches, with plans laid out for several years to maintain a near-annual release schedule for the series. Notably, Capcom exhibits consistency in a adhering to their planned release dates, as evidenced by past game launches. Moreover, recent Resident Evil titles have been unveiled during PlayStation events, suggesting the potential for a release of the next installment if a PlayStation State of Play event were to occur. The latest leak suggests that Resident Evil 9 will kick off with Leon S. Kennedy in the opening sequence, although it remains uncertain if he'll be the sole protagonist throughout the game. Set in the summer of 2025, this game will see Leon at the age of 48, embarking on a perilous journey on a South Asian island reminiscent of Singapore. However, it's worth noting that the game's location and characters may change as the narrative unfolds. Intriguingly, this aligns with rumors hinting at Resident Evil 9 adopting an open-world format. While we typically associate open-world games with with expansive sandboxes like Far Cry and Assassin's Creed. If Capcom can sustain player engagement in this manner, I'm all for it. As someone whose favorite Resident Evil character is Leon, especially since Resident Evil 4, I'm personally excited about the prospect of him returning as the protagonist. The only aspect that gives me pause is the absence of any previous teaser that indicates his appearance in Resident Evil 9, which raises questions about the authenticity of the leak. At the end of Resident Evil Village, Chris Redfield uncovers Umbrella's creation of bioweapon clones bearing his likeness. Consequently, speculation, including my own, has been rife regarding Resident Evil 9's narrative trajectory, with many anticipating a storyline centered around Chris and the Hound Wolf squad infiltrating the BSAA in Europe. This conjecture appears to align to the plot Capcom built Village up up to. Alternative theories have even emerged, implying that Leon's potential absence from the latter part of the ninth game could be attributed to his death. I find this leak hard to believe because Leon is Capcom's poster child. Even if Leon wished to retire as he hinted in Death Island, it's unlikely that Capcom would grant his wish. While Jill's inclusion in the next game has been fervently requested by fans, if the leaks prove accurate, it appears unlikely likely she'll feature. Moreover, if Leon becomes the protagonist, it follows that Ada would also play a prominent role with him. Because as the saying goes, if there's no Wong, the game feels wrong. There's also been talk of a Resident Evil 1 re-remake, potentially slated for release in 2026, coinciding with the series' 30th anniversary. However, this rumor reportedly originating from Dusk Gollum feels more like speculation rather than solid information. Dusk Gollum, while having connections to a Resident Evil insider on Discord, lacks the credibility typically associated with reliable sources for leaks. Their record in 
includes only a handful of accurate predictions, leaving much room for doubt. Despite the specificity of certain leaks, I'm inclined to take everything with a grain of salt. That said, I'm certainly eager to see another game with Jill Valentine. While she made an appearance in the Resident Evil 3 remake, her character development felt somewhat lacking, overshadowed by the relentless pursuit of Nemesis throughout the game. Considering Capcom's announcements for their anniversary, it seems unlikely that a Resident Evil 1 re-remake is in the cards. One reason is because there were teasers for other projects, such as a potential Resident Evil 5 remake, hinted at the end of the Resident Evil 4 remake. Additionally, we were given RE-verse for the franchise's 25th anniversary, which was in fact a forgettable installment. I can't help but think that Capcom could have better utilize their resources by making Resident Evil 6 actually good, or perhaps investing time in a revitalized Resident Evil Outbreak experience, one that receives regular updates to keep the co-op gameplay fresh. However, as a Resident Evil gal, I can't help but daydream about the possibilities. Picture this, exploring the iconic Spencer Mansion in Resident Evil 1 with VR support, or imagine diving into a Chris Wesker trilogy, or even a modernized Code Veronica remake with next-gen graphics. After all, that game is nearly a quarter of a century old. And let's not forget the potential of remastering the original trilogy of Resident Evil games in celebration of Capcom's 30th anniversary. These hopes keep me eagerly anticipating for more from the series. Another intriguing leak has surfaced, suggesting that Resident Evil 9 may take on a medieval setting. However, I'm inclined to believe that Capcom would opt for a fresh and original setting for their next installment, albeit retaining beloved characters from previous games. Among the flurry of rumors, another title has emerged, Resident Evil Hank. Purportedly slated for release in the fourth quarter of 2024, fans speculate that this game could delve into the enigmatic backstory of the fan-favorite character Hunk, shedding light on his journey following the delivery of a mysterious cargo to Rockford Island. The RE universe is ripe with untold stories, making it particularly intriguing to explore the narrative of an operative working for Umbrella, the notorious corporation behind numerous viral outbreaks, with Hunk's exceptional skills and the arsenal of gadgets and weaponry at his disposal, the potential for a captivating and unique experience is immense. Some have also speculated that Capcom might develop a Resident Evil game featuring a protagonist who serves as a blank slate for players to project themselves onto. While Ethan Winters was initially considered somewhat of a blank slate, I digress with this assessment. Across the 7th and 8th game, Ethan's character character undergoes significant development, evolving into a fully fleshed out compelling character. His journey begins with a desperate search for his missing wife Mia, leading him into the heart of Louisiana's horrors. After the harrowing ordeal and combat training from Chris, he has evolved into a capable survivor and a brave father, confronting peril after peril in his quest to rescue his kidnapped daughter Rose. Another rumor from an anonymous Reddit user has implied that that the next Resident Evil game could take place in a ghost town setting, but we face mythological creatures like the Wendigo, Cerberus, and goat creatures. As intriguing as that sounds, I still hope that zombies retain a central role in the Resident Evil series. Despite the abundance of rumors and leaks, Capcom has a habit of changing their ideas, leaving much uncertainty regarding what to believe. Nevertheless, I'll remain vigilant, keeping you informed with updates from PlayStation events, official announcements from Capcom, or reputable insider leaks. My aim is to provide you with quality information, preferably steering clear of mere speculation from Redditors or Discord users. But I also wanted to take the time today to not only inform, but also share my passion for this series. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment your theories on the next Resident Evil game, and subscribe to stay updated on your favorite games and go tell your fellow aunt or uncle roadies to do the same. What would you want in the next Resident Evil game? Thank you for watching and that's all.